All right. So uh, first things first. Sorry for any background noise. I was trying to uh, fuck with my Morph Fox settings to uh, kind of cancel out the background noise, but couldn't figure it out. It's been a while since I've tried to do a tutorial or anything. But um, so this is going to be how to do standalone reach, not the like creative force creative mode reach. Uh, so this is going to be the one where you can adjust it from between three to seven, or you can even go zero if you want to make it so that you can't punch at all. Um, so let's get right into it. Uh, you're going to want to adjust your settings like this. Change that to the gray. It's called gray for whatever reason. Yeah, gray. Uh, writable. Uh, change this to float, and then you're going to want to go three point some zeros, doesn't really matter how many. First scan, uh, you're going to get about 42 addresses, and what we're going to do is just control A to select all of them, throw them down here, and this part's it's really simple to get reach. All you're going to want to do now is uh, change that to seven, check and see if we can hit them from here. We can't. So we know it's none of those, so let's change that back to three so we don't fuck anything up. And let's go, boom, change these to seven, and check again. It's none of those. Change them back to three reach, and let's try half of these. Seven, check it. We know it's one of those ones, so we can get rid of these. So let's go ahead and try changing half of these back to three. And okay, so we know it's one of those ones, so let's go ahead and change these back to what they were just to not fuck anything up. Let's try half of these, seven. We know it's one of those two, so we can get rid of these ones. So let's change this one to three, see if it changes again. Oh, yep, that's our one. We can get rid of that one. Okay, so as you can see, can't punch him. I want to change it to seven again. I can now punch him. And that's reach. That's the adjustable standalone reach, not the force creative mode reach. Uh, and yeah. It's really simple. It's how you get it. Nice and easy. Oh, um, I'll, I'll show you how to point your scan for it real quick too. So you're going to want to uh, right click that address when you find it and then click point your scan for this address. Max level, I usually only ever do five and that usually works for a lot of games. So I'll just hit five there, leave everything else default, click OK. Oh wait, <laughs> what am I doing? I'm retarded. So since this is um, in the Minecraft Windows.exe region, uh, that means it's a static pointer. Um, so, sorry, I forgot to say that too. Uh, right here, where it says memory scan options, you'll want to uh, click the drop down box and then click Minecraft.windows.exe. So, we're only scanning the Minecraft.windows.exe main module because um, it's, it's static, it's, it's not a dynamic address, so you don't need a whole pointer chain to it because it doesn't change each time each time you restart the game. So once you get this, then it's it's golden for this update, the 116.210 update. Um, and if if you want to know like if it's static or not, you can always select it and click uh, Control B, as in boy, and then uh, it'll bring up the memory memory uh, region window. And if this is all green text, then you know these are all static addresses. If it's black, like all this, all the bytes and stuff are black, then it's dynamic. But you know it's green and it's static if it's, you know it's static if it's green. So, uh, yeah. So I won't show you how to point your scan this time, but yeah, reach is really simple. You can edit that. It won't go past seven. Um, I mean, you can change it to whatever you want, like 100, but like seven is the max, see? Because that's just what it is in the game. You can make it higher through uh, exploits, various exploits, but um, I don't know. This is just for basic reach. So yeah, really simple. That's how you do it.